My name is Kyle, and welcome to a quick talk on getting started with Redis Cloud. We're going to talk about what Redis Cloud is and what it can do for you. Then we'll jump right in and set up a subscription and a database, followed by getting into some actual code to connect to that database to read and write data. Redis Cloud is a managed serverless database as a service offering based on the proven Redis Enterprise platform. With Redis Cloud, you can select a supported cloud provider, then create an enterprise grade Redis database that is fully compatible with the open source Redis clients. Once your database is created, you point your Redis application at your endpoint and away you go. You can use Redis Cloud as a high performance database or a caching tier in combination with other databases. Redis Cloud starts with a subscription with which you create multiple databases for isolation of microservices and applications. Redis Cloud manages scaling up or down, ensuring high availability of your Redis databases, and in the background, all operational issues such as preventing noisy neighbor problems by load balancing and more. In addition, Redis Cloud gives you the flexibility to run your database in multiple configurations to accommodate your specific scale, performance, durability, and availability needs. First, we need to sign into Redis Cloud. If you do not already have an account, the site will step you through that quick process. I do have one already, so let's use that one for this demo. Let's create a new subscription for our databases. We'll start off by selecting the cloud provider and region to host our databases. Next, we'll add in a subscription name and then select from one of three subscription plans. There are three different plan types to choose from, so let's quickly talk about each plan. The first plan is designed as a simple Redis cache. It does not include support for replication or data persistence. The second is a database plan, which offers a rich set of features including in-memory replication, auto-failover, database persistence, and backups. Finally, we offer the multiple availability zone plan. It offers all the benefits of the standard plans, but with in-memory replication to another availability zone, as well as auto-failover. With that quick explanation, we'll need to also select the size of the plan. For the purpose of this demo, I will select the standard 1 gigabyte plan. Then click the continue button. For more details on this, please check with the Redis Cloud documentation. First, we need to add a database name. For this demo, we'll take the defaults for everything else. Now, let's click the activate button. You're taken to the view database page for the new database. The key thing to look for on this page is when the endpoint is populated. Once that fills in, your database is ready to go. Let's copy that endpoint information for the next step. We have a simple application in Node.js to connect to Redis. We can drop the endpoint information from our View Databases page into our application, and then we can run it. As you can see, the code connects to our Redis Enterprise Cloud database, writes a value, and then reads it right back. Should you need to increase or decrease the amount of data in your Redis database, choose an alternative plan, and voila, you're good to go. No downtime, no manual shard adjustments, it's as easy as pie. As you've just seen, it's super simple to get a Redis Cloud database created and ready to go for your application. You pick the features, the size of your data, and away you go with the Enterprise Class Database.